The sound of the drums in St. Peter's Square resonated here at the oldest Catholic church in British Columbia's Lower Mainland. I could feel my heart beating with the drum. Rennie Nahaney is part of the Squamish Nation and also a Catholic deacon. He leads services in his indigenous language and has worked for years to promote healing between his church and his people. It's a very exciting day, especially for those of us that are, have remained faithful to the church. But his point of view is far from universal. For me, it's still just words. How nice, what wonderful words that he finally heard and understood our pain, which he's been sitting with this information for a long time. Liz Aquenzi was abused at Catholic day school. She doesn't trust the church. They're looking like they're doing something good for First Nations people. Maybe that'll make their congregation come back and start giving them back their money. Frank Badger survived a decade in residential school. His only celebration on this day was for these young graduates. The apology, he says, does not go far enough. He apologized for the few bad, bad apples that were in, the, but that's not right. The whole church should be responsible for this. This Métis scholar says words are just a start. And a relationship to uh, restitution and compensation and really following through with actions. Rennie Nahaney wants a clear plan of action. Here it is in writing. This is what we're going to do. This is how we're going to finish it. This is how we're going to find reconciliation and healing and finally peace in our hearts. A goal for some, but for others, the relationship with the church will stay broken no matter what the Pope says. Lindsay Duncombe, CBC News, North Vancouver.